This is Sarma Cho. Today, we are going to discover the advanced usage of q -Duo, the dual q -Rap controller. Ordinary use of q -Duo is dual q -Rap control. This is basic use. But what we are looking for is we control q -Rap and digital console at the same time. Yeah, scene by scene, and scene change, and q -Rap change, everything. So what we need is the audio interface. This is uh, USB bus power audio interface, hook up directly uh, MacBook Pro, and audio output goes to console. And this is MIDI audio. Uh, MIDI in and out, hook up directly the digital console, and MIDI in and out, and vice versa. And the USB, connect with MacBook Pro. Q-Duo is also hooked up with uh, the first Mac. And if you're running the redundant, and you are uh, hooked up a second USB out to the other Mac Pro or MacBook Pro. So what I do is uh, have to s set up the Cura first. I have to make some groups, make a uh, MIDI queue first. Mm -hmm. It's not MIDI, not on, it's going to be program change, okay? And it's, it's supposed to be MIDI destination, going to be MIDI MS1 by one MIDI interface, this one. And the channel one, and program should be zero. Mm -hmm. And basics, check on the MIDI note one. And I need music cue. Mm -hmm. And, okay. Uh, remember the number three. Make it, name it, Q. 01 and one more thing is I need to make a group and what I what I need to do is make fade queue mm -hmm. and the fade queue supposed to be uh, okay curve shape and level going to be uh, zero and I don't need the duration is too uh, long it's going to be 0 0.5 seconds. Yep. And what I need is, uh, remember the three, the target going to be number three. Okay, so it's activated now. What I need, one more thing, MIDI queue. It's also program changes. Number, channel one, program change number one. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, one more thing. The music cue. And don't forget the no tone MIDI trigger. Okay. And it's going to be num uh, name it Q2. Yep. And one more group. And I also need the fade Q. The fade need, yeah. yeah I need the, the number seven. It's going to be target seven. And mid Q. It's supposed to be program change, and number is going to be two. And basics, MIDI trigger, check on the MIDI trigger. And I need uh, music cue. A sexy MF, okay. And what I need is uh, 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need the Q03. And remember the name, the number 11. Uh, one more group. And fade Q. It's going to be 11. And going to be uh, uh, fade out. And duration. 0 0.5 second so it's going to be very short I, I, uh, here too 0 0.5 second it's going to be very very short and one more thing is the midi queue the program change program change and each number is going to be 3 And check on the MIDI trigger. And one more thing, I need the music cue. Okay. One, two, okay. So everything is supposed to be done here. Q four. The MIDI cue is so simple. So Q1234 is supposed to be maiden before everything. Okay. And the Q duo mode is a keyboard mode right now. It can be used with the MIDI mode, but I prefer with the uh, uh, keyboard mode because the MIDI mode going to be a uh, console. Okay, so let's going to find out. So what I do with the console, I have to check the synths. You have to make your synth first, and the cues. If you need, you have to make your synth patch too. And what else you gotta do is MIDI. The Q1 program change and channel 1 and number is 0 the program change is from 0 to 127 so each or about 128 steps so uh, Q number 1 is supposed to number 0 and Q number 2 the program change channel 1 and number supposed to be 1 2, 3, and 4. It's going to be 2 again. 1, 2, 3, and go back to 2. Something like that. And the setup. In global menu, it's OK. And uh, configuration, it, you don't have to change anything. The uh, show control, it's going to be cues and scenes and snippet. Q is fine, okay. And remote, yeah, remote button is supposed to be enable, and the remote protocol going to be uh, if you're using something like uh, uh, outboard control uh, using like a, a MCU or Huey. I using the MIDI I/O, so MIDI in and out is to me. If you're using USB card, you have to select the card MIDI, and MIDI control interface should be MIDI in and out for me. If you're using USB, you are using card MIDI. The MIDI receive and MIDI transmit everything is, is supposed to be selected. Okay. Everything is all set. It's okay. Everything is all set now. Let's control 
the Q duo. So what else your Q duo can do? It can control the Q. Okay, it's very easy and simple. So you are in a musical situation. You are controlling the musical show. And what else you can do with Q duo? You can control double Q rap with single Q duo, and you can control also your consoles using. Uh, uh, previous and next cue for the the QRAP navigation and go 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 escape yeah and one more thing you can also control the QRAP via console. What keys I use is I use assign key setting the MIDI control. Yeah. The assign key what uh, you are using is for the effects control. But uh, set C is empty, so I use set C for the uh, panic and previous cue and next cue and go. Check, use MIDI show control and use musical MIDI control. Default channel going to be one. So go, waiting for the key. Go, okay? And panic, panic. Previous cue, previous cue. Next cue, next cue, done. And you can control QRF from the console too. Go. 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 Escape. Go. 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 And panic. Isn't this easy? I call it very easy and simple. You have to focus on the, the only the show. In a rehearsal, you make all the cues and scenes, and you have to combine everything. And in the show, you can control only Q duo and everything. And just press go. Next scene, go. Next scene, go. Escape. How could it be more easier and more simple? This is best way to use QDO. I recommend a lot. I'm really proud to announce the QDO right now. WR made this QDO. And very small company from South Korea. But it doesn't matter, it works perfectly. Go. Go. Oh, no additions. Go.
load go yeah best thanks for the watching this is sir macho and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>